All right, we're gonna try this setup to see if we can get the dogs in it more because we all know that's really why anyone watches podcasts, the puppies. The puppies, can I kiss? Welcome to the Once Upon a Corgi podcast. We are a puppy crafty podcast coming to you from Southern Connecticut. I am your human host, Gabby, and you can find me everywhere online as Gabigales or at Once Upon a Corgi for all my hand-dyed yarn and fiber. And we are joined today with both corgis, Audrey and Iron. And I'm hoping having a little bit of the bed in the frame will mean that they make some more appearances. Right now, Iron is sitting just out of frame and Audrey's on the middle of the bed taking up everything. Maybe we'll just do a, a corgi shot for the beginning of every podcast. Let's see what that looks like. Poppy butts! I just want to say a giant thank you to all returning viewers and a giant hello and welcome to any new viewers. Oh, our frame's off. Thank you for checking us out and continuing to watch if this is your first time or not your first time. I had this all down and then I lost it. This is what happens when you take a week off. Uh, yes, we are a weekly-ish podcast, so... Sometimes we skip a week, sometimes we don't. It depends on my mood. We have a couple of announcements before we get into the knitting section of the podcast. First of which is, oh hey bud, here's Iron. Uh, we have a trunk show going on currently at the Cottage Yarn Yarn Store in Mint Hill, North Carolina. So if you're in the area and you would like to go check out some yarn in person, feel free to head on over there. And the second announcement is we have a winner for the Wanderlust a uh, sock collection by Mina Phillip, which she graciously donated to the podcast. I have used a Amazon, I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to set off your anythings, to uh, generate a number. And our random number was number 38. So post 38 was Choward, C. Howard. I'm guessing it stands for C. Howard. Uh, it is Chrissy from Ann, Texas. So get in touch with me, Chrissy, and I will get uh, the information sent over to Mina as soon as you let me know you saw this. Yeah, bud? Thank you. Uh, and I believe that is it for announcements. I'm gonna have a sip of my tea. We have uh, coffee pour a tea from David's Tea today. We're still going through our David's dash. And it's still really hot. It's like a, it kind of just tastes like a, calm down, Audrey. Iron, put the teeth away. It's like coffee infused black tea. It's delicious. Here's Audrey. Out of the way, let's get into some knitting. I have an FO for you guys today. I don't know, my voice just went so high. I'm very excited to say that these are done. These were my Halloween and Christmas Eve cast on. It is the Jack and Sally self-striping colorway from Jinx Yarn, and the heels, toes, and cuffs are Legacy Fiber Arts from In The Mare. They're done! I, love them. I haven't worn them yet. Uh, I have to weave in all my ends first, which I think I'm going to do today because I really want to wear them. And also I have a pile of socks up here from last year that I still need to weave ends in. Uh, yeah, the self-striping is Jinx yarn. I knit them on size, um, I don't remember. Ones or one and a halfs. Those are my go-to sock things. One of the two. I might have, did I write it down? Nope, I didn't. I did not write that down. That's, you know, very important information, clearly. So yeah, these are done. I do a 64 stitch sock. Um... <laughs> So this one, I believe I did the, I'm pretty sure I did the New Depths Heel by Becky Sorensen for this one. And I also did her, just kidding, this one, right? No, maybe I did the same. I'm pretty sure I did either Becky's New Depths Heel or Mina's um, square heel with the mini heel flap and gusset. I did a mini heel flap on both socks. I don't remember what heels I did. And then this toe, I did Becky's rounded wedge toe, and I really enjoy the way it fits. 
And then this one, I got so excited that I was so close to the bind off, I just did a, my regular star toe. But they both fit lovely and uh, they're socks, so I'm not gonna rip it out and redo it. But I love them, love them all the same. Just, you know, shows you how much I pay attention to my socks as I knit them. Uh, I can't wait to wear these. So yes, this is my finished object. This is the final pair of socks I cast on in 2017. So these are off the needles. I do believe I only have a couple more projects left over from last year. So hopefully I can finish those soon. On to works in progress. I have three for you today. I'm going to start off with the oldest one because we have made some moves. Before we get into whips and before I forget, I will let you know what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Find Your Fade by Andrea Mowry um, in a variety of dyers. I will eventually get this posted on a projects page in Ravelry with a list of all of them, I promise. And I'm wearing the Hope Cardigan by Amy Christoffers in Lana Plante's um, Rambouillet base ba dyed in Marigold. And for the dress, I am wearing a simplicity pattern. I don't remember what the numbers are, and if I can find it, I will put it down here or in the show notes. But it's just a giant, comfy, oversized dress with pockets. That's basically it. It's comfy day. It's cold. It's not cold out. It looks gross out. I don't want to be up. I'd rather be in bed. Don't want to do anything. So we're going to go comfy today. All right, back to work in progress. This is the Zion sweater by Alex Capshaw Taylor, is this guy. And we have finished the back. Da -da. The green is uh, Two Men's Yarn Co. in Guacamole on their MCN fingering weight um, base. I don't know where their tags are, but I held it double to make it a DK. And the top is Fig Bash by Vullenbein on her Nouveau base, which is her Superwash Merino single ply. And we have finished Minus the actual, like, physically taking it off the needles bit. Which is going to make this look terrible. The front! Yay! So I just have to find my scissors and cut the thread. And loop it through one loop, basically. And we are done with the front and the back. And we just have to cast on our sleeves, which I think I'm going to do two at a time. Going to read the directions first. So that should be done relatively soon. Maybe this weekend? We will see. And it is still living in my matter root bag, which I love so dearly, and I'm very excited to get another project in very soon because I want to use it all the time. Our second work in progress is also a sweater because we have no self-control. And this is the Zweig sweater by um, Caitlin Hunter. It has been making its rounds with no surprise at all because it is it is a fantastic knit. I'm knitting this out of my hand dyed yarn, once upon a corgi, on my Marie Cutie base, which is a Corydale nylon blend in the colors um, Oswald for Mayer and La Dame Death. So we are in the body, we have separated for the sleeves, and we are just chugging along. It's been a good uh, knit night, knit. No, don't answer him. It's Jax, if you can hear him in the background. He's just wandering around the bedroom, yelling. He's fine. Yeah. Oh, no, now he's trying to kill the dog. Did he get you, bud? As I was saying, I am chugging along on well, but, but I am chugging along on this, and it is going amazingly. I am obsessed with this sweater right now, and the like. I wish you could squish this; it's just so squishy. I am alternating skeins for the body because it is hand dyed yarn, and I don't want too much pooling to go on. So, uh, center pull ball for each one. They were the same dye batch, so I'm hoping that they're not going to be too different, but better safe than sorry. I don't think I have anything else to say about it, but I'm very excited to have it done. It will be a um, sample knit. I did make it a couple sizes larger than my size, so it would fit the future mannequin I will have. I have a dog hair on my nose now. 
um, nicely. So there we go. I'm hoping I can get a lot of sample knits done this year because most of my sample knits are things I actually wear too. And I'm realizing that that's probably not the best because now I have to knit new things to make up for the fact that both of my sweaters and my hand dyed yarn are getting pilly and worn because they're one of like three hand knit shirts I own. So I'm wear rotating them quite often. I may be putting a call out for sample knitters. I'm still trying to like get over the feeling that I need to knit everything for my shop. Keep an eye out on Instagram slash the newsletter maybe. I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm still coming to terms with it. Here is the rest of La Dame Death that I have. And it is living surprisingly in my Erin Lane Harry Potter sheeple bag. It's gonna have to move eventually. I think I'm going to move it into the matter root bag because it will need that extra space. But for now, it still fits. Now I really wanna work on it. The last thing I'm working on is a new cast on and it is living in my Jack bag that uh, my friend made for her Etsy shop, Vixens Fixins, which is now mostly SEA gowns, but still, still fantastic. And that is the new Fingerless Mitts by Kristen. I'm doing the test knit for her. And this is what I did yesterday during, was it yesterday? Monday during um, In Between Dying. And this is the Something Wicked Mitts. So there we go. I am in thumb gusset increases right now. And this is out of La Bienna May's Merino DK in the Santuki colorway. And I'm knitting these for Jake because this is the yarn he picked out when we were in Paris at La Bienna May. And he didn't really know what to make, what he wanted it to be. And then she um, posted about the mitts. And I thought it would be perfect for him. He does need some fingerless mitts. And I'm hoping that there will be enough left over that I can make him something else with it or make him some extra fingerless mitts. So after he recovers from me murdering him, if he ever loses one, he will have an extra. Because love, I know. So there is the cake and I am, uh, the DK revolution is going strong right now. I just want, I keep knitting things in fingering weight, but I just, I'm really appreciating DK weight a lot. So I have a DK Revolution favorites bundle going on and I'm hoping I can knit much more of those. So there is the cable pattern a little bit more. I'm loving how much it's popping out even though it is quite a speckly yarn. It's not, I don't think it's going to take away from the cables at all. I'm just going, I'm very excited to see how this grows. And I've got my little manatee uh, progress keeper on there because I love him. So those are the main things I have been working on. No new socks. I will be casting on the Pisces socks soon. Um, I'm hoping to get the Zion sweater off the needles before I cast anything else on. And I would like to put a big chunk of time into Jake's uh, Seafarer's cardigan today because uh, I'm realizing I have a billion miles to go on that. And if he's gonna get it for Rhinebeck, I, I gotta get a move on. You know, it's only February, but he's a big dude. He's 6'4", if you're new. He's a large, he's a big dude. That is a lot of cable knitting. That is it for my crafting. I'm also hoping I can get a little bit of sewing time in today. A lot of sewing plans building up. I'm hoping I can schedule some time after dinner to do that because my yarn just came in and it's about 3 p.m. on Wednesday, February 14th. It's a little too late to start dyeing for the day because I do have to set up my whole kitchen for it. I'm just going to prep everything for tomorrow and start fresh. I think that's probably best. I feel like it's one of those days where if I try and do something too intensive, I'm gonna mess up and get frustrated. Better to acknowledge that and do other work things than try and mess up stuff. I know I'm not supposed to be getting yarn, but I promise this was all swapsies, so it doesn't count. Over the weekend, I had a pop-up shop knit night with Rebecca from Fuse Fiber Studios at her uh, studio at the Farmington Arts Valley Art Center in Avon, Connecticut, and it was amazing. There were so many people there. It was a fantastic turnout. That was way better than either of us ever thought it was gonna be. So thank you to everybody who stopped by and supported and just hung out and knit. It was wonderful. Audrey made an appearance and she was a very good shop pup. She 
greeted everybody at the door until about eight o'clock and then she went and hid under some chairs and begged for pets and snuggles and won the hearts of everybody and more. Um, yeah, so while we were there, because you're staring at beautiful yarn because Rebecca does a fantastic job and her speckles are just blowing my mind. Um, we did a couple swaps. So she got some of my yarn, I got some of her yarn and one of the ones I got was, ooh, there's dog hair all over it because it's in my house. We, um, chose a painting by a girl who was also in the like studio spaces to base a skeins of yarn, base skeins of yarn off of. So um, this is, I'm gonna try and put a picture of the painting up in here. Don't know if that's gonna happen. I have to find the file. This is her interpretation of it and we both called ours Paralytic, Paralytic Dreamscapes. So this is hers and this is on her 80, her Fused Luxury Fingering 801010 Merino Cadre Nylon. I just love like this bit and then that. Oh, I love it so much. So I did a trade Z's with one of mine, which is, I'll take the band off, which is this guy. <laughs> so I'm going to put these two together in something. I don't know what yet, probably a shawl, but I can't wait. I love them. I also did mine on my 801010 Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon, which is my penny base. So that was Swapsies number one because I just needed these to live together forever. The other one I got was her dad sweater colorway on her fuse fingering, which is 100% Superwash Merino wool. It is a two ply. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I kind of want it to be socks. I kind of want it to be a shirt. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. I might like, I kind of want a cardigan out of it. This is me telling myself to stop. I kind of want a cardigan out of it, but don't need another sweaters quantity. And this is a repeatable colorway by her. So I think I'm just gonna let this marinate for a little bit and decide what it wants to be because if it does want to become a cardigan, then I'm just gonna have to order some more. She had this on her DK as well for like one of her comfort fade not sets, she just sort of lined them all out next to each other and it was just beautiful. Oh, I just love it. So there's a close up of dad sweater. It's a little bit, I guess that's pretty close. I wanna say it's a little bit darker in real life, but I just love like these muted tones. Mm. So that is what I got and it's gonna go in, I have to knit, I have to knit some stash so it fits. I'm gonna put these away. Uh, I guess this will go in here. It's gonna go right in the stash. There we go. Nice and neat. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to start knitting some stuff. This, I physic I can't fit any more yarn. That is it for stash building. And that's really it for all of our crafting stuff. So the rest of this will be life stuff and shop update. If you are not here for either of those, thank you so much for watching. And if you are, let's get into the shop update. We will be having a shop update this Thursday. February 15th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So a lot of the stuff, let me grab my thing. What I'm gonna show you first is the stuff that I dyed for the pop-up and is already up in the shop. I put it up on Monday. So this is already in the shop, ready to go. We dyed up, most of these are across Ginger, Marie Cutie, Tesla, and I think that's it. Dream Kitchen. Ghoul Haunted Woodlands of Wear, Like My Cold Dead Heart, La Dame Death, Blood Moon, and the very exclusive, this will not be dyed again, Dreamscape. Oh, we also dyed up Volca kits. So this is the Volca sock kit. Um, it is only on the ginger base at the moment. We have the Something Sinister and Dark Like My Soul. Hedwig and Dark Like My Soul. Going up into the shop this week will mostly be tweeds because I'm still waiting on a lot of yarn to come in. Everything's been backed up because of customs and it's getting quite annoying. So we will have Nose Stuck in a Book, Let's Just Run Away, Sunday Morning, and Rodney. We'll be going up into the shop this week and I will be putting a list out for the newsletter tonight and usually I post on Instagram what is going up into the shop. 
So I hope you can make it. I just want to say a giant thank you again to everybody who supports the shop and comes to the pop-ups and the shows and just means so much that you let me do this as my job. I honestly cannot imagine doing anything else. I've tried and it was just awful. It was just terrible. It's a terrible feeling. So thank you again. The last section is life stuff. So most of the life stuff was the pop-up shop. It was amazing. Lisa from an Indian Tangled was there, so that was really nice to actually to get to meet her. I wanted to at Indian Tangled, but it was just so busy. There was no chance to even talk to anybody. A couple ladies from New England Fiber Festival was there. A lot of my friends from my knit group stopped by, so that was super exciting. And then after uh, the pop-up, I went to a hot wing party, which is exactly as it sounds. We had a line of hot sauces and tried to see how hot we could go without dying. Uh, I didn't play that game so much as I was just hungry and there were dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets and I love hot sauce. So it was the perfect night. So good. Yarn, hot sauce, knitting, cheese snacks. It's great. And that was really the highlight of it. A lot of stuff has just been hanging around the house, uh, working, trying to revamp um, like our dying, not our dying system, but like our schedule, dying schedule, uh, show schedules for the years, trying to start planning for SSK, get our hotel, get our rental car, all that squared away. I'd like that squared away by April at the latest. Yeah, a lot of sewing plans coming up and that's pretty much it. We do have some shows coming up. We're gonna have a trunk show at Westport Yarns in March. So I will be releasing the date or releasing more about that the um, closer to the date. That is in Westport, Connecticut. Um, we've got some shows coming up in April, so that's gonna be super exciting. And yeah, we have the, oh, before I forget, we have the Pisces sock pattern coming out February 17th, Laura Beth Knits. I had a, I keep wanting to say Lauren and I know that's not right. That's somebody else. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I've been posting on Instagram when she posts just to keep you guys uh, updated on that because she designed the sock in Once Upon a Corgi Audrey base. Audrey's so sleepy right now. And that is going to be it for this week. I'm trying to keep these down to a reasonable time hence doing the weekly bit, keeping you guys up to date on what I'm working on. Hopefully you guys are working on some fantastic things. And with that, I'm gonna go, I think knit some fingerless mitts and drink some tea and fill out some more business paperwork because there's never a time where you don't have that boss lady life. Thank you so much for watching and coming back and supporting the shop. And we will see you all next week. Bye.